Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Ivy Professional School. Today we are here to discuss the most useful yet the most painful topics of Power BI that many of us still get confused with. DAX functions. Data analysis expressions that is DAX is a programming language that is used throughout Microsoft Power BI for creating calculated columns, measures and custom tables. It is a collection of functions, operators and constants that can be used in a formula or expression to calculate and return one or more values. You can use DAX to solve a number of calculations and data analysis problems which can help you create new information from the data that is already there in your model. Let's first take a look at what calculated columns imply in Power BI. Calculated columns use data analysis expression formulas to define a column's values. Anything from putting together text values from a couple of different columns to calculating a numeric value from other values. It allows you to bring data from different data sources by creating a calculated column that didn't originally exist in the data source. For example, assume that you are importing data from a database that contains sales transactions. Each individual sales transaction has the following columns: order ID, product ID, quantity and unit price. Notice that a column doesn't exist for the total amount of sales for each order. In order to find the total sales, we can start using the DAX by creating a calculated column that multiplies the unit price with the quantity. The calculated column will create a value for each row called total price. We can create the new column by selecting the ellipsis button on the table in the fields list and then selecting the new column. We then get the option of writing a DAX formula just beneath the ribbon at the top. We can replace the term column with the desired name as we require. Say we call it total price. The value on the left side of the equal sign is the column name. The text on the right hand side of the equal to sign is the DAX expression. This simple DAX expression takes the quantity value and multiplies it with the unit price value for each individual row. It will produce one value for each record in the table. That we have understood what a calculated column means, let's now take a look at what are measures in Power BI. Measures are used in some of the most common data analysis. To continue with the previous scenario, let's say that we want to create a measure that totals the new column for the entire data set. Similar to how you created a calculated column, we can go to the fields list, click the three dot ellipsis on the selected field and select new measure. Text will now appear in the formula beneath the ribbon. We can then replace the measure with the desired name and can write the following formula. The new measure will now appear in the fields list. Let us now just summarize the difference between a calculated column and a measure. I hope you find this video useful. Stay tuned in to Ivy's YouTube channel for more videos on Power BI. In the next segment, we shall cover iterative functions and time intelligence functions.